Hey, my name is Jeff Struker. I'm a former Army Ranger. In fact, there's an actor who plays me in the movie Black Hawk Down. I'm currently a pastor in Columbus, Georgia, but I'm just an average Joe with a game plan for life. By the time I went to Somalia, I'd been in the Army for six years. I had been to, to war twice already. I took part in the invasion of, of Panama in 1989 and took part in Desert Storm in Kuwait in 1991. 1993, um, the, this little country of Somalia on the Horn of Africa is um, experiencing starvation. Hundreds, probably at the summer of 1993, somewhere around four to 500,000 people dead from famine. Um, and the United Nations and the U.S. military is trying to help out. So Marines are providing food to the people of Somalia. And the country has no government and it basically collapses in on itself. So you have a couple of warlords. They, they have almost an unlimited amount of drugs. They have an almost unlimited amount of guns. And because they have drugs and guns, they got an almost unlimited amount of men who will fight for them. Because I got a gun, I got drugs, I can do whatever I want, nobody can stop me. And sometime during the summer of 1993, one of those rebel warlords decides he's big enough and bad enough he can take on the United Nations. So Mohammed Farah ID ambushes and murders 24 United Nations workers. So the U.S. responds with just a small group of men called Task Force Ranger. And this is what the movie Black Hawk Down depicts. The movie Black Hawk Down is very, very accurate. But it's not even a fraction of how violent the real thing was. So I'm a squad leader, I'm a staff sergeant, and it's my job in Somalia to lead Humvees through the city streets on every mission that we do in Somalia. And uh, this mission, Black Hawk Down, is the seventh mission that we've done. I mean, we're, we're taking down some pretty big fish in IDEED's organization. We're, we're making a dent in Somalia. Um, but we're also three months into this mission and getting a lot of pressure from D.C. to wrap this thing up and to get out of there. Typically, we only do business at night. But we get a tip on Sunday afternoon, hey, there's two really important bad guys meeting in the same building at the same time. We know it's broad daylight, but and this is too important of an opportunity to pass by. So, helicopters fly in and assault inside the target building. I lead Humvees to the cities, through the city streets, and, and we're supposed to be in and out of there in about 30 minutes. And actually, for the first 30 minutes, man, this thing is going down like clockwork. I mean, we're really, really well organized, and it's going down about exactly like we thought it was going to until helicopters start to get shot down. The first helicopter gets shot down, then we put as many of our forces on that helicopter as we can. When the second helicopter gets shot down and crashes in the city, we don't have anybody else that can go to a second crash site. And I've already been in the city streets at this point for an hour or two. I've already been shot to pieces for an hour or two. One of the guys in the back of my Humvee has already been shot and killed instantly. The first guy killed in Somalia. And I'm driving people back and getting a medical attention when my boss says, hey, a second helicopter's gone down. Jeff, you need to go back out to the crash site and see if anybody's alive out there. And I, I, I make my way back out to the crash site trying to get to Mike Durant's helicopter, get shot to pieces again, turn around, take a bunch of other guys that are already shot up and wounded back. And um, I'm on light skin Humvees. We don't have armored Humvees back in the day like we do today. I have three of the four tires shot flat underneath me when I drive back out into the city streets. All night long we're getting shot to pieces, all night long guys are getting shot up, but one of the things that's unique about Rangers and Special Operators is, hey man, we're, we, I will gladly lay down my life to give the guys that are still out there fighting for their lives a chance at survival. And for me, Somalia was a life transforming event but not getting shot at. It was what happened the day after the firefight was over with that was life transforming. And the next day after this big firefight's over with, I probably had 20, maybe 30 guys come up to me in the next 24 hours and say, I need to talk to you right now about your faith. Almost every one of them said the same thing. I could hear your voice on the radio. I watched you in the city streets there was something totally different about you than there was me. And I got to know, what it, what is it? And I told guys over and over and over again in the next 24 hours, the only reason why I was, I was able to 
act the way that I did during this big firefight is because Jesus is my Savior. I knew I was going to heaven and I wasn't worried about dying. Before that event, I was completely convinced Jesus created me to be an airborne ranger. He wants me to kick indoors. He wants me to blow stuff up. He wants me to kill the enemies of our country. He wants me to do it really, really well. But he also made me a man who is a follower of his and who loves him deeply. So I just thought I was going to be a ranger for the rest of my life. If you were to tell me as a young ranger that I would end up as a chaplain in the military, I would have laughed in your face. But um, it was one of the greatest privileges that I ever had to be able to minister to my heroes because warriors really are my heroes. Hi, I'm Ronaldo Wynn with Game Plan for Life and you just heard from Army Ranger Jeff Struker. The guy from Black Hawk Down shared his story how he was able to be calm in the midst of a crisis. And the reason why he was able to be calm is because he knew that he was going to heaven. So I'd like to pose that same question to you. If you were to die today, would you go to heaven? Are you secure? Are you at peace to know where you would be? I want to ask you to look at chapter 7 in the Game Plan for Life book, which talks about salvation. Chuck Colston explains how having a relationship with Christ gives you that peace, that calmness, no matter the circumstance, no matter the chaos that may be around you, how you can know that in the midst of that you can have peace. I also want to thank our troops of past and present that have served in this country. Thank you so much for your service. Also go to our website GamePlanForLife.com uh, to get a free Game Plan for Life book as well as a New Testament study Bible.